Melbourne has just come out of a long period of lockdown, so to celebrate this occasion, I've asked a special guest to join me today. You've heard me mention the story of how I got into cooking before, so I thought I would invite the person who introduced me to cooking to help today. This is my sister. She will be helping me with the recipe. Today we're making seafood clay pot, one of the many classic dishes that you can find at most Chinese restaurants. If you like seafood, you will like this dish. For the ingredients, you need seven sugar snap peas, five baby corn, one carrot, half an onion, ginger, garlic, half a pack of silken tofu, 300 grams of prawn, 200 grams of squid, and 200 grams of fish fillet. For the sauce, you need one cup of chicken broth, one teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon oyster sauce, three teaspoons of potato or cornstarch, two teaspoons sesame oil, and Chinese cooking wine. First, let's prepare the sugar snap peas. There are strings on both sides of the peas, so all you have to do is break the tips of both ends and pull it down, then cut them in half. With the baby corn, you can use fresh ones or you can find them in cans as well. If you are using canned ones, strain the liquid and wash them. If you are using fresh baby corns, you need to blanch them with the rest of the vegetables. Peel the carrots and cut them into slices. To make it a little bit prettier, you can cut it into flowers using the method here. Next, cut the onion in half, peel the skin off, and cut them into half inch pieces. With the squid, clean and remove the insides. Using a sharp knife, score shallow diagonal cuts in a crisscross pattern on the inside surface and then cut into bite-sized pieces. With the fish, clean the fillet and cut them into 2 cm pieces. To make the sauce, all you have to do is combine all the ingredients together. Here I'm using 2 teaspoons of pepper, but you can adjust it to your liking. Next, add the salt, sugar, oyster sauce, and sesame oil.
Finally add the potato or cornstarch and stir it well. Peel the ginger, slice and then cut them into thin matchsticks. Peel and finely chop the garlic. With the tofu, you can use any kinds of tofu. We have a silken tofu here that adds a nice silky texture to complement the dish. Simply cut the tofu in half to open, then gently slice them into 1 inch pieces. Next, let's boil some water in a pot to blanch the vegetables. Here's a little tip for blanching vegetables. Add about a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of oil in. This will help keep the vibrant colors of the vegetables and keep them crispy. This might take some time, so go get yourself a snack. I will because it's snack break. I have another special guest today. This is my nephew. He loves snacking, so he's excited to try this new honey butter flavor snack special cheese edition if you like honey butter chips you will love this cheese edition flavor if you've never had it before it's sweet buttery with a hint of honey so basically it's rainbow sunshine and everything nice once the water starts to boil add the vegetables for about a couple of minutes then remove and put them in cold water to stop the cooking process Repeat the process with the squid, but add a pinch of the sliced ginger. This is cold blanching. This method is good to prep the ingredients so they cook faster in the end. It also helps to get rid of any fishy or meaty smell from seafood and meat. For this dish, this will also prevent too much water coming out the squid and dilutes the sauce when you cook it later. Heat some oil up in a pan. Fry the onions until light golden brown. Add the ginger and garlic and fry until aromatic. Next, add the fish and prawn to cook. We're cooking the squid a little bit later on because we've already par cooked it with the blanching process. Add about half a tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. Add the squid and stir fire for about 3 to 4 minutes. Next, add the vegetables. Finally, give the sauce a little whisk and pour over the ingredients.
Stir for a few minutes until the sauce thicken. You can serve the dish like this with rice, or if you have a clay pot, you can serve it in a clay pot as well, which is the traditional way and why the dish got its name. Don't forget to add the tofu on top before serving. You can gently stir in it to the sauce as well. Heat the clay pot up before serving until the sauce bubbles gently. We hope you enjoy this recipe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next video.